let's see if we can get through this video without my dog being a psychopath well hello and welcome to the aftermath of my horrible spending habits so we're going to talk about those 20 some odd books that i have collected we're going to try and get through these books and she's honestly terrible like she just bites and barks only like right now she's she's trying ah, to bite ah. I have these books behind me let's just go ahead and get through them because i have a feeling i'm going to start to be in a really bad mood by the end of this video so okay so the first five books that i'm going to talk about are actually in a series um, i bought an entire series off of amazon because they were selling the whole series for like 20 22 or something no privilege revoked obviously i bought the whole series from amazon for like 22 dollars, and i felt like it was a steal so i had to do it you know um, but that is the selection series. I don't even know if these are in the right order. Yes, so those are my first five books. The next book that I got, another Amazon purchase. A lot of these are actually Amazon purchases because I used my Christmas money to buy books off Amazon because it's just cheaper off of Amazon. Um, but that is Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I didn't used to be the biggest romance reader until I read The Love Hypothesis and I fell in love. It's my favorite book of all time. And now I just kind of have become a romance junkie occasionally. Um, so I got this one. I'm very intimidated by its size, honestly, because this is probably the thickest romance book I have ever seen. Um, but I have heard nothing but amazing things about this book um, and actually this series because the second one is out and they just announced the third one. So super super exciting um but yes so purchase this one i don't know when i'm going to actually get to reading this one i don't have a plan for this one at all so if anybody has any ideas on what to do with this book just let me know okay the next book that i got i did get at barnes and noble um and this was just something that i really even wasn't planning on buying until i saw it um but that is loath to love you by ali hazelwood so this has three um like novellas in it it is under one roof stuck with you and below zero so these are three of Allie hazelwood's um short stories that were supposed to only be available on kindle unlimited which i don't have which was really sad because i wasn't going to be able to access these but i guess someone decided to publish it and i'm very very thankful um I can't wait to read these and also get to Love on the Brain by her. I just need to read all of her stuff um, because I can't ever stop thinking about the Love Hypothesis. It was so good. So yes, yeah, so purchased this one as well. Okay, this next book I purchased from Target and I actually wasn't even planning on buying a book when I was at Target and I wasn't even going to buy this book until I got to the register and realized I never took it out of my cart. And I was trying to avoid one of those awkward situations where I'm like, I don't actually want this um and i was in the self-checkout so like i didn't know what i was supposed to do with it i didn't want to just leave it there and i'm like weird about like not buying things especially when i have to tell someone that i don't actually want it like i i just i just kind of like shut down so i couldn't do it and i was like whatever i'll just purchase it and then i'll read it and return it if my husband doesn't want me to keep it or whatever but he didn't seem too opposed to it so i am keeping it but that is how to sell a haunted house by grady hendrix so i have heard a lot of really good things about this book i have read a lot of grady hendrix and i haven't been like super impressed um by any of them um i read the final girl support group um and that one was okay um read read my best friend's exorcism i didn't really love that but i don't really love like the paranormal stuff anyways um like, I don't even know if I'm going to like this. Uh, and then I read A Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. And that one I thought was just incredibly stupid, in my opinion. Um, so I just haven't been super pressed. I do own Horror Store. It's on my shelf. And I do want to read it. But I feel like it's just, I don't know if Grady Hendrix and I vibe. But I have heard so many amazing things about this book. And I'm like, okay. Like maybe, maybe I will finally find a book by Grady Hendrix that I enjoy. So I'm hoping that I end up liking this one, but I, am not gonna lie, I don't really have like super high hopes. Um, but the next book that I got um, was from Barnes & Noble. Again, I was going and not planning to get anything. Two books that I've been really wanting to read were on the buy one get one half off table. So I ended up getting this one um, and that is The Starless Sea. 
um, by Erin Morgenstern, the same author that wrote The Night Circus, which I also haven't read. Um, but I got this one. I don't love this cover. Like, I want the really pretty cover with, like, the bumblebee on it or whatever it is. Um, but I have heard amazing, amazing things about this book. And I just really want to try it out. Um, I don't know if this is even going to be something that I like, but I feel like that is part of reading is, like picking books that are out of your comfort zone to see if you like them. So start, let's see. Um, okay, so the next book that I purchased again from Amazon is The Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. So I had originally planned to do a Throne of Glass reading blog and I did attempt it. It just didn't work out. Um, so I had bought this one because I own um, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight. And so I was like, all right, well, I'll get the next book. So got this one and I still want to do a Throne of Glass reading vlog. I just feel like I have to be in like a very specific mood for anything fantasy. So once I'm in that like fantasy mood, then I will do that. The next book that I purchased is Queen of Shadows. So I did end up getting this one with everything else. I just like went up to a certain point in the series and purchased books. I am excited for this entire series. I just think it's going to be so good. I love the first book. I've read it twice. Um, still have yet to read Crown of Midnight. It's on my TBR for this month, but I don't even know that I'll get to it. Um, but I have really enjoyed the first one and I've heard that the series like just kind of like gets better and better with each book. I know that it'll be something that I love, but I feel like a series like this long and big books like this, like it's just going to take me a minute to get through them because I am starting to become a mood reader and I will set a TBR for myself and like nine times out of ten I'm not sticking to the TBR so the next book that I have is a middle grade and it is The House at the End of Magic by Amy Spark so I actually have two copies of this one one is in this stack this one I purchased off Amazon and as you guys can tell it looks like water damage like I don't know what happened on the ride over here but I was just kind of like E, like that's not fun and then I went and checked and like okay did I accidentally click used copy instead of new copy and I didn't I had wanted a new copy and so I was kind of bummed and I hate being that person but I did contact Amazon and I was just like hey I purchased this book and it basically was not in great condition and the mailman is walking across my sliding glass door to deliver the mail to the neighbors and he's totally watching me trying to figure out what I'm doing but walking mailman um and I was gonna just send this one back and just have them give me another one but they actually told me I didn't have to send this back and they just send me another copy for free so gotta love Amazon for that so now I have this one that's kind of like mangled a bit and then I have like a brand new nice copy so haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with this one quite yet I thought about giving it to my little cousin um because she likes to read and I feel like she might want to read this but yeah so purchase this one i do have a another middle grade um and that is the hat makers by tamsin merchant i have started this one um i got up to page like 100 or something but then i stopped um but seems really cute um i am occasionally in the mood for a little middle grade novel because i just feel like they are so majestic and just whimsical and really comforting so now I have a couple, I have a couple more on my shelves, but now I have a few options in case I'm in the mood for some cozy, mindless reading. The next book that I purchased is a book in a series that I am in the middle of and I need the next book for it. And I want to do a reread, um, but I want to do it in yet another reading vlog. So, Hand on the Wall um, by Maureen Johnson. This is part of the Truly Devious series. Uh, I have read Truly Devious truly devious and the vanishing stare um i need to read this one still need to read box in the woods and then there's also nine liars or nine lives or something like that apparently that is a another one in the series so i didn't even know that that was a thing but i saw it at barnes noble so i need to get through this series but i really want to reread the first and second book and this is the third installment um so i purchased this one because i'm really trying to prioritize series this year that are on my shelves that i am just like neglecting to finish so really trying to get through some series but yes i purchased this lovely the next book that i have is house of sky and breath the second installment in the crescent city possibly series i don't think we've gotten an announcement for the 
like what the third book is yet, but I'm pretty sure there is going to be a third book. I am currently reading Crescent City and I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm only on page like 110 or something, but it is really, really good so far. And I'm excited to dive into this world and see where it goes. Heard so many good things. Everybody and their mom is like obsessed with this book. So I've heard that this one ends very crazy, like just mind blowing kind of thing. So I'm excited to get to it. I'm hoping to get through this one this year, but we'll see what Crescent City House of Earth and Blood does to my heart. And then we'll decide if we want to do this again in the same year. So stay tuned for this one as well. I feel like that stack is wobbling, but we're going with it. The next book that I have is a book of the month book. Um, this is actually the book of the year of 2022, and that is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. This one is floating around book to book talk, bookstagram, I mean everywhere. Everybody's reading this and I have yet to read it. It sounds really, really interesting. And honestly, I bought it because it sounded like something my husband would enjoy. So I bought it in case he would want to read it. Um, but the more people talk about it, the more I'm like, okay, maybe I need to read this instead. But sounds super interesting. Maybe this is something that like me and my husband could like read together at night. That would be really fun. Maybe this, that's what I'll do with this book. But anyways, sounds really interesting. So I got this one. This is actually was complimentary from Book of the Month. So every time um, they have their voting process with the Book of the Month and they're trying to pick their Book of the Year, they typically will have three finalists and you can pick between the three finalists which one um, you want added to your box for free. And I actually owned one of the other ones and then the second one, I didn't, I wasn't interested in it. So I was like, all right, I'll just try this one, I guess. And I'm glad that I did because I feel like everybody's trying to get their hands on this book. So, and I really like my copy with like the gold, like foiled emblem stuff. Like I feel like it looks really good with this cover. So, um, okay, let's, let's work on this stack, shall we? Should I just, I'm just gonna move this to the floor. Um, okay, so this next book that I got is also from Book of the Month. This was my book club, I mean my Book of the Month pick for February and that is Foul Lady Fortune. So this is, this actually wasn't one of the options for Book of the Month, um, but I really didn't love any of the options for February. And if you don't like any of the options, you can either skip the month or you can choose a member favorite. And this is one of the member favorites. Um, and I really loved um, These Violet Delights and Our Violet Ends by Chloe Gong. So um, I really wanted to try this one out and I didn't realize but these worlds are kind of connected and that seems really cool so um apparently yeah like they both take place in Shanghai but you don't have to read these violent delights like you don't have to read that duology before you read this supposedly so just seems interesting I'm kind of excited I really enjoy these violent delights so I'm really excited to see where this one takes me the next book that i got is actually one that i purchased from dollar tree i i always take my sister to dollar tree because she just loves to go there she's obsessed with the dollar tree and um i was like walking around and sometimes they have like a little book section and it's typically like really run down and like nothing in there is anything that i've ever heard of or um and so i was like all right well i'll just look through here and i looked through and i found this book and it seemed really interesting um and it was only a dollar 25 so yeah but it's called That Night by Sin Balig. I don't actually know. Um, but it is a thriller and it just seemed really interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure this does deal with suicide. Um, so that is a trigger warning for this one. But it did seem interesting to me. So I decided to purchase it. Especially it's only $1.25. Like, can't lose much. This is my other copy of... The house at the end of magic my my nice not water damaged <laughs> copy so the next book that i want to talk about i'm really excited to talk about because i did read this book and it is one of my favorite thrillers at this point and that is hidden pictures by jason regulac so i purchased this one from target um this is again like i wasn't really planning on getting anything from target but I had seen this one and it had been like floating around a little bit and I was like, all right, well, I'll give it a shot because I feel like I don't have enough thrillers on my shelves right now for some reason. Um, decided I literally bought it and read it that day, like all in one sitting and it is so good, like so good. 
I had the best time with this book and now I literally recommend it to everybody. So if you haven't read this book, you should totally read it. I do plan to reread this at some point. It was just, it was like, it was immaculate if you will. The next book that I have is again another book in a series that I want to finish um, and that is The Final Gambit. This is part of the Inheritance Games series. Um, I've been wanting to finish the series for a really long time. I read The Inheritance Games a year or two years ago something like that um, and I really did enjoy it but I don't remember a thing and I really want to do a 24-hour readathon where I read all three books in 24 hours and just like crank out the whole series. I just love reading series and reading in general in 24 hour periods like i'm just way more productive that way i don't know i'm really really excited everybody loves this series and i remember really loving the first book um and i'm really really interested to see like where this is all gonna go the next book that i got is another book of the month book and it is what lies in the woods by katie or Kate Alice Marshall um but this is another thriller and this one I actually have heard a lot of good things about when I first purchased it I didn't hear anybody really talking about it um, or really hearing anything about this book um, and then I feel like all of a sudden like literally overnight people were talking about it so it does give me high hopes for this book I did start it at one point I only got like page 10 or something um, and it was because it was during a 24 hour readathon and I was trying to just like read for the last like 20 minutes of the readathon left and so I ended up picking up this one knowing that I wouldn't finish it but it's okay it is a shorter thriller um so these are like really good for me for readathons um but yes I don't know much about like what this book is like what even happens in this book but the next book that I purchased is The Shadow Between Us by Tricia Levenseller um this one that's probably Trisha. I purchased this one when Barnes & Noble was doing their half off all hardcover sale. Um, so I purchased this one because I wouldn't buy this book if it wasn't half off, um, to be honest. Um, but I did read it and I did enjoy it. I probably will reread it though because I don't even really remember much because it was in a 24 hour readathon and I was like half asleep while reading this whole book. <laughs> but I did have a good time, so it's okay. The next book that I purchased, which some of you are have probably already commented at this point, about the throne of glass series being like you have to purchase and read the assassin's blade i purchased it i got it um i plan to this is the order that i plan to read them in i plan to read throne of glass crown of midnight assassin's blade air fire because so many people say that that is the way that they recommend it because that is the way that they were released um so by reading throne of glass and crown of midnight by the time I get to this book, this is going to tell me a lot more about Selena and like all of her background and all that stuff. That way when I get to Air of Fire, I actually care about what happens. But if I read this first, like in chronological order, this is going to feel really pointless and just like not give me the connection to Selena that I need. And I have heard that if I read it right after Throne of Glass, it's going to feel like it's lulling a lot. So. And that's the order that I plan to read this in. So I did purchase this one too with the hopes to do all of that. So Assassin's Blade. I don't want the stacks to fall over, but they might. The next book that I purchased was one of those buy one get one half off books. And that is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. So both of these were, this one and The Starless Sea were on the buy one get one half off table. Um, I've been meaning to read this book like since my whole life haven't had like the urge to purchase it until it was on the buy one get one half off table and i was like this is the perfect time to purchase it so i did that and i have no regrets i'm very excited to read this one again i don't have a plan for this one i don't know when i'm even going to get to it but i do hope to get to it very very soon um it is something that I'm excited for so okay we have two more books the next book that I have is what moves the dead by T King Fisher um, haven't read anything by T King Fisher but this book just sounded really really interesting and I love buying short books like this like little novellas for readathons because they're just so helpful to me um, but this is like some really freaky creepy stuff like goes on at this house and it just sounds really fun like definitely sounds like a Halloween kind of thing um we'll see if i can wait till halloween to read it <laughs> but it does seem really interesting and again i love that it's short it's something that i could quickly get through um and i was really captivated by like the art on this book i just think it is so so 
interesting and I love the color scheme. I think it's so pretty, um, even though it's definitely creepy looking, but it's also pretty to me. So yeah. The next book that I purchased and the last book that we're going to be talking about is a graphic novel and that is Lore Olympus Volume 2. So I purchased this one at Barnes & Noble's but I only get one half off sale or no, the half off hardcover sale um, because I really loved Lore Olympus Volume 1. I had such a great time. Um, and I loved the art. I thought it was so pretty and colorful. Um, and so I saw this one and I was like, okay, I have to get it. And then I am planning to purchase volume three too. Um, because I actually ended up loving the first one way more than I thought I would. I didn't think I would love it as much as I did, but I did. So I had to get the rest of them. Those are all of the books that I have purchased within the last month. I know horrible, horrible spending habits, but it's okay. Um, it worked out. It'll always work out. Um, so yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I have nothing, nothing else to say. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next upload.